Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Rose Kettle. I am enjoying my summer holidays and honestly the weather has been so hot, like incredibly hot for normal, but thank goodness today it's cooled down quite a lot, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm here to do a tag video. I brought um two of my alternative reborns they're fairy reborns so just for a change and um i named them nina and nevea and i love to answer a tag video by hush little baby let's get to it So before I get on to it, um, I'm deciding whether or not to grow my hair long again or to cut it short like how I had it. I'm in that stage where I'm unsure <laughs> what to do. But um, yeah, so I'm just in my lounger. I'm wearing my favorite uh, football team. It's uh, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and... Um, I don't know, it's our favorite teams. <laughs> uh, I normally like watching football more than hockey. There's a lot of Canadians that love their hockey, but um, we're into football. We're a football family, so. Anyways, I'm here to do the tag and here to show you my two alternative fairy babies. I keep them in this bag. There's two of them. One is covered. This I have with them a, a magical arrow. This was made by Erin Candy Love Sparkle, and she sent it with my Joxer, who is an alternative half human, half uh, clown baby, or a Joxer, or a Joker. Yeah, Joker. <laughs> I just call him Joxer. But uh, he came with this, but she originally made this for her Cupid baby. She's amazing. But she sent it with Joxer, and I was so happy because I envied, like, isn't that creative and beautiful? So I, I put them with the fairies for their fairy magic and everything magical about them. Now, two of my fairy babies, one looks human and one is more magical. And they're both made by different artists. The first one I'll show you. Her name is Nina. I named her Nina. She is made by Marita Winters. I forget what scope. A little petunia scope. <laughs> I bought this dress from Walmart. It's an AD doll dress. So I had to pin it in the back. It's pinned because it's big on her and she can have pigtails i used to have her in pigtails she's so cute but i named her nina after one of my best friends that i've known for 12 13 years no over that <laughs> over that because erica's now 14 and i've known her since before Eric was born so and she is from lebanon and Oh, she's, and I love her details. Um, she didn't come with a lot, so I made this headband for her, and I bought the dress for her, and I, I didn't, these are made that I made from a crocheted, um, headband, and, uh, she came with this headband, but it was, like, for a normal reborn, I just cut it and made her little, uh, a footless sandals is that what they call it footless sandals but she is so pretty so this is Ni nina my magical fairy my other fairy i'll just oh <laughs> lay her gently my other fairy i named nevea and she is more human like and wait everything's falling she comes with this beautiful her hair is messy, but this is my Nevea, and she is more human. Like she has no um, magical markings on her, but 
I do love how she's like human like. She's so beautiful. She came with a huge wardrobe, including this dress. And it comes with this beautiful, beautiful headpiece. And I will show you what she came with. Oh my goodness. I'll also link. Since she gorgeous, she's my fairy girl. So they're so tiny. I love doing like uh, photo shoots with these girls. <sighs> so pretty. I never done so in a long time. Um, here is what I keep them in. It's a crocheted sack. And I just fold it down into like a bed, a nest. And I have this muslin blanket just folded and laid down in the center of it. So it's just a bed like this. And that's where these two beautiful girls sleep. So I would love to do this tank. And you can look at the beautiful fairies. They're so magical. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Okay. I'll turn on my laptop, which is over here. And Hush Little Baby has um, written down all the questions in her description. And I will uh, put a card for that video. But there are 10 questions. <laughs> and I saw this video a long time ago. And I thought, oh my goodness. I'm not sure about my answers. <sighs> because... My collection is giant, giant, you guys. And um, I've been avoiding how many Reborns I own. And a few small amount of people know exactly how many dolls I have. But no one knows the true amount, except for me. <laughs> I do keep track of all my dolls, who their artist is and who their sculptor is. But I didn't keep track of where I got them from. or But my memory is pretty good. So, let's get to it. Number one, how many reborn babies do you currently have? Uh, it's, it's a lot, you guys. Um, <laughs> I've only sold a tiny bit of dolls in my collection. And a few of them I sold. And I bought back. When the, when the seller was reselling them, I jumped on it and I said, I would love to buy them back. So I was able to, because I can't, I can't part with these guys. It's really hard for me to part with these beautiful babies. And I don't, you know what? I will not be able to afford these dolls in the future, especially when I'm close to retiring. So Yeah. <laughs> my collection is huge i love the diversity but yeah how many i tell people over 50 but then i tell other people it's over 70 and other people i tell over 80 and the real people know it's just over 100 yeah don't say yes Yes, it's a huge, huge. Oh, that's including some Ashton Drakes. So take out those Ashton Drakes. And that's including, um, I also own like alternative dolls plus animal. I have a dog and then I have a pug and a, and a monkey. So I have included those. So yeah, let's just say around 90. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, are you expecting another reborn baby anytime soon? No, I'm not. My last three purchase purchases were on a whim. They were from friends I trust in the community. Especially one of them. I bought two dolls from her recently. Um, that's Miriam, this and that on YouTube. I've known her for years and I trust her. And she was selling at reasonable prices. So I jumped on the opportunity and bought a couple of dolls from her. And uh, the other doll I also bought from a trusted friend in the community that I've known for years and years. Plus she's an artist. And I bought her baby. So, 
Um, am I expecting any? No. No, no customs in the works. No possibilities of me expecting a baby. <laughs> but that might change. Um, I would, uh, I, I have to stop myself. I really do. Um, number three, where do you keep your reborn babies? For instance, a nursery room or living room. I own most of them in the living room, my bedroom, and I do have, it's not really a nursery room downstairs, but it's more like a storage room. Because before I got into the reborn hobby, I was an Avon consultant. I was a Sensi consultant. I was a Epicure consultant. I was a Grace Adele consultant. And guess who was my best customer? Myself. So I still have a lot of stock from, well, everyone knows Avon. Sensi is a scented wax uh, for melting, melting uh, pots and stuff. Uh, they sell diffusers and oils and scented room sprays and cars, like circle scents, they call them. Um, I, I forgot, I'm air fresheners <laughs> type things. I'm, my, my, oh, I'm just rambling. Um, Epicure is a spices. Uh, they have no sodium, so I love that. I have, uh, and they come with cookware and bakeware and utensils. And so I have lots of stock of that. I also I used to sell um, Grace Adele, which is, mm, they're just can discontinued now but they used to be purses and bangs so but what's special about these purses and bags is that you buy a bag and you buy accessories like a handbag but the handbag fits inside of the pocket of the bag like a tote bag or a um, um, bigger purse and um, <laughs> yeah I have a video on using one for a diaper bag so I'll also link that uh, but Chris and was really fun. Um, they discontinued everything. They were owned by Sensi. And um, yeah, I, I still own a lot of fun bags, <laughs> purses, handbags, I guess. And um, and then uh, what else did I sell? Yeah, the four things. Yeah, so, so my nursery room downstairs is full of overstock. And it's stocked up with nursery stuff. And my nursery accessories, I was addicted to collecting bottles, pacifiers, bibs, um, clothing, blankets. Um, I even have like reborn, like reborn artist supplies. I have blank kits. I have uh, paints, brushes, uh <laughs> waiting materials everything everything i need to reborn i own and yeah it's a storage room <laughs> one of these days i would love to turn it into a nursery like a proper nursery room but we'll see um number four do you prefer reborn baby girls or reborn baby boys and yes you have to choose when i first got into this hobby i collected girls because um, in, like I have three real sons and I never had that girl and I always wanted that girl. But when I received my first boy, I thought, wow, like it's just brought back so many memories, especially because, um, I donated most of the boys clothes, but I did find a few boxes that were left over that weren't donated so i am able to use those on the dolls and i absolutely love it so but if i could choose between girl or boy i pick girl and <laughs> they're so much more fun and pretty um and plus naming them is fun so let's see uh number five do you prefer sleeping reborn babies or reborn babies that are awake Again, please make a choice. I would probably choose sleeping because um, they could look more realistic. Like, say, if you're taking them on an outing, they look less creepy to others. If they find the dolls creepy, 
uh, the sleeping ones are less creepy, <laughs> I guess, because they can look more real. And um, yeah, the ones with their eyes open freak a lot of people out. So, um, and they don't freak me out at all. I love this hobby so much. Even the alternatives, I love them. They're so unique and so art, the artist is amazing. So, but I would prefer probably sleeping. When I look at a sleeping baby, I they're just so calming and peaceful. And, well, her, her eyebrows look like they're real hairs, but they're actually just painted. I don't know if you can see that. The sunlight is picking. It's been orange. Oh, anyways, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, <clears throat> number six. Do you prefer reborn babies with painted or rooted hair? I own babies with painted hair, rooted hair, and combination hair, which is a mixture of both painted and rooted. And I love them all, but... If I really wanted to choose, I'd probably choose rooted hair. Um, number seven, what size of reborn babies do you prefer? Imagine you could only have either a preemie newborn zero to three or even a bigger size reborn baby. What would it be? My collection is is very diverse from extreme preemie to preemie all the way up to a child so but i think the most of my collection are like zero and a three size um i don't know it depends i was gonna say but i love a newborn um and sometimes i love my toddlers so if but if i would choose one like right now to buy i probably choose a newborn yeah newborn i'm sticking to that <laughs> number eight who is your absolute favorite reborn baby sculptor please give me only one name oh my goodness laura lay eagles i own the most by her so yeah laura lay eagles um number nine what are your five or less favorite reborn baby sculpts oh my goodness at first, I thought it meant sculptor. Like, for instance, my favorite that I own the most of is by Lorley Eagles, Cassie Breeze, Bonnie Brown, and Marita Winters. I also own quite a lot by Andrea Arcello, Tina Kiwi, and Olga Auer. And the real borns, Denise Pratt, which she also sculpted the Bindi, the monkey sculpt, and the little princess pug sculpt, which I also own. Um, I also own a few by Ping Lao and Riva Schick and Natalie Blick. Um, and the older sculpts, Romy Stratum, Adri Stratty, um, yeah, Donna Rupert, I own a couple of Janessa Schnick, uh, Joanna Kazmierzak, uh, Pat Moulton, Linda Murray, Nicole Russell, Alicia Turner. Oh, I have so many dolls. Marissa May, I own a couple, Angela Lil Angela Lewis, she's um, silicone, and I own a couple of partials by her, C.B. Whitting. Oh, so many wonderful sculptors. Oh, but it said sculpts. My three favorite sculpts. Ew, that's a tough one. Tough one. Oh, which one do I love? Well, I love the Noah. I finally own the Noah by River Schick. Um, who, who else? I love, oh, Lorley Eagles, all of her babies. So hard to choose. Just a couple because her, the way she sculpts them is the way that my family, like the, the skull shape and their ears, how they're sculpted, their face in general is like ours. Um, but my, I guess my favorite Lorley is, is probably, uh, the Evangeline. I really love, I have that AA Evangeline. Oh, she's gorgeous. Um, and weighted so perfectly. I guess the weighting is up to the artist of whoever weighted them or myself. 
So, but the actual sculpt themselves, oh, there's so many. Uh, the Chase by Bonnie Brown, I really adore. Uh, Twin A, I really adore. Um, oh, I can't, um, I have to stop. Otherwise, this video will be too long. Number 10, if you could only keep one of your reborn babies, which one would it be and why? That would be, even though I own quite a lot and I love quite a lot of them, the one that I would keep would be my Angela Lewis uh, partial silicone, uh, what it's called? the Brooklyn sculpt, because that is a dead on um, duplicate twin of Eric when Eric was born like identical uh, the coloring her painting her sculpt her like the way that she was sculpted just perfect perfect just like eric i probably keep her she's my partial silicone i would love to own a full body silicone one day but i don't think that'll ever happen but that's okay with me um, so yeah, this video is quite long. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you enjoy my two twins. They're so beautiful. This is Nina. She was made by, um, Lacey Molson. She's seen Canadian or Canada. And I asked her as a custom and I told her to freely, uh, do markings, magical markings on her, and she did. She did a beautiful, beautiful job with um, painting her. And then this one was, uh, she was, I bought her second hat. So she also had a beautiful mother, uh, a fairy mother. Oh, such a beautiful doll, but I couldn't afford both of them. Um, plus, oh, she came with a ton of accessories just beautiful accessories that were custom made just for her and uh, i really love her painting is uh, a little more realistic uh like a sp and more human like this one is magical she has markings on her legs i don't know if you can see that she is beautifully oh i love them both nina and nevea and i love them I didn't give them a middle name but they both came with belly plates and yeah and this is beautiful i hope that you love them as much as i do so you guys hope that you have a great day thank you so much for watching thank you for um the fun tag this is a really fun tag to answer um i've seen a few people do this tag and I was nervous doing this tag because I have so many dolls. It's un unreal. Like some people, some people can't handle or can't see that many dolls. Like owning that many dolls. But I do. And I love them all. Um, I do cherish them all. I do interact with them all. Um, even though time may go by without me interacting with them, but, um, I do, I, I love my collection. So, and that's, that's exactly, most of the dolls are for collective purposes only, and I do have a lot of dolls that I love interacting with. Um, I have different, uh, each doll is something special and unique in their own way, and, um, I even own Ashton Drake's and I love them all as well. So, uh, yeah, these two, beauty, these two are beautiful. I can't wait to make them a fairy like, garden corner or something. I would love to do that for them. But, oh. but anyways, guys, hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys. And this <laughs> high five. Manchan guys, love you, Manchan. Bye for now.